Hi and welcome to another Smurd P video and this week's X-Men video is on these guys. So we have Hope, Rachel Gray, Gladiator, Astonishing Beast and Neymar who comes from Walmart in America. Yes, I was lucky enough to get him for a UK supplier. First up we have Rachel Gray and this is when I think the lines from Toy Biz started to lose some of their quality. So, but this this mold, she's kind of very anime in my mind, but this is from when she was in Uncanny X-Men with uh, Storm's team. And pretty much at that point in time, they literally killed her whole family. The Shi'ar came down, they sent their um, secret kill squad and they wiped out the whole gray genome. And as Rachel Gray pointed out very recently in a book that I was reading, uh, which is uh, just titled X-Men and it's the old ladies team. She said, well, you wiped out my genome. However, five non-greys, uh, this is the Phoenix Five, had the Phoenix power. So I explained that, what a waste, you know, you killed my family for nothing. But in the end, she kind of lets it go. So in terms of the figure, the figure is still very nice. It has a nice little, I guess, a tiny little skirt who walks around like that. I'm sure there's plenty. She has a nice... X necklace, earrings, face details, really nice. Sorry about the dust, as usual, I have not dusted my figures in a long time. She comes with this, and there is another one which I do have somewhere which she kind of holds like this. Sorry, harm pan in the face. And there's the thing, there's her nicks, there's her boots, there's her nicks again because they're everywhere. A bit of uh, paint scuffle there where I've scraped the figure perhaps. You can imagine I've had this since, what, 2009, I think? 2008, I think this came out in as part of the Broad series. Oh, I'm going to struggle to get it stand up. So, yeah, all in all, I like this Phoenix. Uh, Rachel Gray, or Rachel Summers, is when she first came into this alternate um, reality. Uh, she comes from a different timeline, a different reality, a different dimension. And pretty much all the X-Men were killed in that dimension, if I remember correctly. But um, I liked her. I need to read the classic Excalibur because I believe she was very, very um, character developed in those stories. There we go. Next up is Hope Summers. And basically, the Scarlet Witch said, no more mutants. Most of the mutants were decimated. And pretty much there were no new mutants being born. Until Hope Summers came along. Her power was manifested at, at birth. And boom. She was this, you know, enigma to reignite the mutant genome, etc. So what ends up happening is there's a Messiah War, it's, it's called. Uh, in Messiah Complex. And it goes on into Messiah War. Cable basically takes the baby in the future. Bishop follows them and she, she he pretty much wants to kill her. Because apparently she starts this, what, 56 seconds war, or 15 seconds, whatever it is. That pretty much uh, sets up his whole future timeline. But um, this figure, this is when I think Hasbro were trying to find their feet. So it's not perfect. As you probably expect nowadays, they pretty much got the moulds down to a T. But I really like it. I mean, oh, there we go, a gun. The, the coat is very well detailed. Sorry, dusty hair. I like these little hand gauntlets and leg gauntlets. That's even what they're called. No knickers on this one. And there we go. Hope Summers. That's, you know, I, there was a lot of speculation that, oh, she's Jean Grey, basically. But, you know, she's nothing like Jean Grey. And at the moment, I'm reading um, X-Force, and she's in a coma. I've not finished that series, so maybe she comes out of it. I don't know, but... We now have surpassed that. There's been a some sort of altercation with the Inhumans. And Hope Summers is one of those missing X-Men. So, but I do hope she um, followed Scott. Because I actually liked that relationship. And then they kind of crushed it. And it was, you know, weird. But there we go. Hope Summers. Oh, sorry. Too bright, too bright. And here we have Astonishing Beast. Who is, um, I think, in the Nemesis line, if I'm correct, or the Annihilation line. 
but yeah once again this is where things started to um, change for not the better I think that's why Marvel Legends went away at the time so Beast in my mind is a hypocrite <laughs> I used to love this guy. I loved him when he was working with Scott. And then all of a sudden, you know, all right, Scott made some decisions, some questionable ones with X-Force, etc. But this this guy, he just becomes a real jerk after that, pretty much. And he sides with the Avengers. He sides with Wolverine. And Scott's wrong. And he has all this resentment. And it's... Oh, it's it kind of goes nowhere and it kind of sounds like he's droning on and you want him to stop probably like you want me to stop right now but he does some questionable things he brings these guys the original x-men back in time and oh it's crazy i did like uncanny x-men 600 where it's kind of like a trial beast you know you need to answer to us you seem to avoid this and you you know he ends up driving off i hope there's a more in-depth story when we get over this old Inhumans, whatever the hell's happened. But he's, once again, he's with the humans. And, you know, I'm reading the Uncanny Inhumans and he's in it. And he said, Scott was not my friend. And, you know, maybe he should be saying, actually, Scott was my friend. And, you know, that's why I'm here. I'm here to save mutant kind like he would. You know, that would show that, you know, something different. But in terms of this figure, you know, I don't like the fact you can't lift his head up. It kind of irritates me. But, you know, it's nicely detailed. It was what he was in Astonishing X-Men. I think we need a new beast. Because obviously he's had a third mutation. Which, um, lucky for him, if he hadn't have brought this dude back, future beast wouldn't be around. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Time travel. Don't like it. Um, there we go. Astonishing Beast. Sorry, one more thing. I actually really enjoyed Beast when he, in the 1970s, he was part of the Avengers team, or early 1980s, and then he kind of dips into the X-Men in and out. I really liked him then. Beast and Wonder Man's friendship is sank to be remembered. Um, I do hope he's a scroll. Simple as that. Beast, please be a scroll imposter. Arr. Right, there we go. And here we have Neymar, and this... I had this, I think the Series 1 Neymar, and I actually, you know, it was time for a new Neymar. I like this figure. I like this outfit. This is the outfit they kind of worn when he joined the X-Men after they moved to Utopia, off the seas of San Francisco, when Norman Osborn was tracking them down. And they basically create their own nation, while Scott Summers engineers it all, Why going kind of up against... Norman Osborn and his Dark Avengers, Dark X-Men and what the hell he was doing. And this guy actually starts as part of that 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 kind of plan with um, Emma Frost that Scott Summers kind of engineers in somehow. I don't know how he does it, but he, he you know, he's just absolutely brilliant. Right, so now on to Neymar. I really enjoyed him in X-Men. I enjoyed him in as part of the Extinguisher team. That's one of my favorite teams. Uh, I enjoy the fact that he hooked up with a giant sea slug in um, when Archangel creates the seed of life and that, um, oh, what's it called? I can't even remember what it's called and I know what it is, but he creates that whole clean slate world and yeah, giant alien slug, whatever it is. But yeah, this figure is absolutely beautiful. I love the wings down there. Anything that was lacking, they used the trident from the builder figure. Uh, King 4 and Odin and it's just not well fitted to these hands. If they had sorted the hand skill with this it would have been better. It's perhaps a tad bit big but yeah I think it works. He's got a, a fabulous head sculpt. You know I mean who doesn't like an 8-pack? Everyone likes an 8-pack right? It's just ripped. You know, I guess that's all that swimming he does. And he is the first mutant, or what he's called the first mutant. He's, he's not. There's plenty out there. There's Selene. There's Apocalypse. Uh, you know, that have been around for a very long time. But I think he was the first one to, I guess, be noticed, I guess is the right word. So there we go. And he also comes with waving hands. Who doesn't like a mutant, arrogant guy waving at them? Or, you know, clicking their fingers or whistling. Neymar has it all. 
swimming hands, waving hands, karate chop hands, and he has a second one which I'm not going to put on because I'm only going to take it off and, you know, you've seen one, you've seen them all. But, you know, it depends what you're going to do with this guy. And, like I said, I sold that old Series 1 thing, but if you have that water effect, it goes beautifully with this figure. So there we go, there's Neymar. Fantastic figure. And my last figure for the night is Gladiator. And this Gladiator was kind of, you know, he, he protects the Empire. He serves whoever's on the throne. He doesn't choose who he serves. I think he um, helped Emperor Lilandra take the throne back when I think Deathbird took it over at some point. But, you know, I really enjoyed him when during the Emperor Vulcan and War of Kings storyline. Basically, uh, Scott Summers' brother, Gabriel, takes over the throne. He marries Deathbird and she takes over. And Gladiators actually this isn't what the Emperor stands for. He, he kind of goes against it and he ends up ruling it. And he is the Emperor. I don't know if he's the Emperor now. Perhaps it's changed again. Perhaps a Korea and humans take over. But during that story, he was fantastic. But he did serve Emperor Gladiator as well. But he, I don't think he agreed with him. But in terms of this figure, this figure is really nice. You know, I think anyone who's an x-men fan would like a gladiator i would like to see a lilandra figure maybe even a vulcan in deathbird figure there's so many options with just a gladiator you kind of feel like you're you're not getting a whole shaban you could have a whole shiar empire and would be brilliant so you know he comes with his cape and one thing that annoys me is i struggle to put the cape back in he's off the old iperian um body mold sorry about that always oh there we go he's no don't fall don't fall there we go, right, I thought he fell in, sorry. <laughs> so the figure's nice, he's San Diego's exclusive, you know, you have, I had to go out of my way to get him separate and you know, I probably paid more than I would have liked for what, an Iperium body mold or Sentry body mold, but you know, I've got a Gladiator and that's the main thing. So let's hope that we perhaps get more exclusives in the future. You know, we've had some real good exclusives from San Diego, San Diego Comic Con over the years. We had Magic last year, we had this dude, and we had the X-Force a few a few years, 2012. Uh, I can't remember when, but, you know, we've had some fantastic figures. I was happy this year that there was no X-Men figures that I actually wanted, because every year trying to find an individual one from a box is it's sometimes hard work. But in the end, I'm collecting, I'm doing a Spider-Man thing at the moment. And they had Sandman in there and I had to get him. But, you know, Black Gladiator, he's awesome. I like him. If you can get him for a reasonable price, get him. You know, he'll look nice on your collection. You just need to find a reason, I guess, to pin him against certain figures, etc. There we go. And just to wrap it up, uh, and because I have a bishop ready for a video that I'm doing, I think, next week. He's chasing Hope. Hope's, um, you know, pushing his gun out of the way. Beast is actually being a card hero and going in to kick his old friend. And then we've got the double duo. We've got Karate Chop Neymar and Marvel Girl pretty much taking on the Gladiator. I think Phoenix, in, if I, you know, I'm about to read it again, but I'm pretty sure that she did some good work on them. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. And have a good day or evening. Whatever time it is, wherever you are. Take care.